Now then, welcome back to sunny Manchester and this week we should see some good progress on the church project. We really should. I'm here for quite a few days so I'm going to turn you around and show you the stone. So, this is what we've got left to work from um, the last few loads that's come in. So we've got that pile there, that there and that there. Today's Tuesday so I'll be following it most of the week and I'll also be nipping down to Wilmore's yard to show you some very interesting things as well which has been reclaimed from the church. One thing to always remember when you start your still so cold is to pump your fuel five times three three four five compression every time make sure it's at the top compression again middle have water suppression available I would always recommend using it unfortunately I don't but I've got my mask on which is a P3 particular filter with a pre-filter on as well so there's plenty of protection from the silica dust but water is always the best so I've got my wedge that I'll then place in there and split with the maul which you're becoming used to now and then we've took the face off it there and then we'll pop her down there, roll her back over, get her here, then bank wedge in there, little tap, oopsie daisies, get her in there, nice and tight, not going in is she? And then we'll redress that now into a piece. So we're going to make that the face of the secondary, so I'll tickle that down there first to bring it into square, flip it over, set that bit of compo off there, as you can see it's a bit of an ugly lump but it'll look nice when it's done, then I'll back it off, take that ugly back off, down there, that back a bit more because it's just gone back on that end bring it into square and into twist and join her and she's beginning to look a bit more favourite word coming aesthetically pleasing So that was a bit out of the back, which has now made a new face, which will be a bit of secondary walling. Oh! If it don't rain, it pours, eh? Um, so next day, Wednesday, weather is not very good at all. But as you see the progress, yesterday, I'm going to smash this today, hopefully. Holds off, but we're also going to go and look at the bell, so stay tuned. The weather's been awful, and it Daisy today, and it girl, eh? But we're gonna go look at the bell from the tower, so that's interesting. So let's go shoot down to Wilmore and have a look. So welcome to the wonderful world of Wilmore Reclamation, where there is in this yard some fantastic, amazing reclamation products. <laughs>
Now then, so I'm in the shed at Wilmot where the belt is located and I'll take you around and show you the Latin writing that's inscribed in it. And the belt is actually already sold. It's not even been here for a week and it's gone already. Sold to an art dealer, which is fantastic news. So let me turn you around and show you the inscribing. So on here you can see it says Loughborough. And as we go further around, I will have to translate this writing as to what it means. As we move further around, I'm sure somebody on here will be able to comment in the things and tell me what it says. So this is the writing. And as we move further around, you can see across the top there, it says John Taylor & Co. And there you've got the writing 19... 62 and the founders there's the knocking mechanism for the bell I don't know exactly how much it weighs but I'm sure I'll find out some more writing inscribed there what a bloody piece sir. so I've also got the appeal letter that I'm going to show you. So, And this was the appeal letter which was put out. So as you can see, as we go down it, bearing in mind this is from 1879 it says there. And this was a letter which was put out for the Bell Fund Tower. And then now, we've got the poster, which reminds me of something you see off an old Western film. So this will have been located in and around the streets of Oldham, as they was appealing for donations. And it also states further down that there'll be a procession showcasing the... Um, implementation of the foundation stone to find a piece of history like this it truly is rewarding for a man industry nearly all his life to come across something like this of this signature of this history of this magnitude it's just so rewarding so rewarding morning well it's just before quarter to seven um, and I always start early for those who don't know why I picked my daughter up from school and that one of the main reasons why I went self-employed and that will always continue to happen so another load of stones come in which you can't really see but I do like starting at this time it's just peaceful <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed following the progress this week. Today's Friday, so this will be the last bit of filming for today. So we've seen the bell, which was amazing. We've seen the note as well, which is a piece of history in itself. And you've seen me bash some stone. So hopefully I've met all of your needs this week. So we'll get some last bit. Of, it's not cracking at all today. So we'll see what we can get today. But anyway, let's get up, get out there and get stuck in. Got myself a gazebo after 16 years in the stone industry, never had a gazebo, so I bought myself one. Even though it looks a bit not put up correctly, but I don't think it'll do bad to be fair.
I am really glad I have had a gazebo today. The sun is just starting to come out, but there's my hoodie hanging up to dry. And we've had to move over to this side because the other load that's all great. So, yeah, proper hard conditions sometimes when it's wet, miserable, but winter's coming and it's gonna happen. We've just gotta get on with it, haven't we? But the first thing that's coming out, it's beautiful. Beautiful punch face. This is real life stone dressing. Look. Oh. What a wet, horrible day. But um, you can see from over there, I've smashed that corner off there. Yeah. Till next time.